Ah! Life loves you. This life, this body, okay, this incarnation, is a love affair between the spirit coming into embodiment. In this body, in this mind, you know, activating you. Imagine for the whole time that you're alive, there is this life force there, activating all these millions of cells in your body, giving you life force, giving you life power, creating all these thoughts and these emotions and it's all that stuff that is going on. It's magical. It's a miracle by itself. We just go like, yeah, I'm just alive, you know, it's not a big deal. What? It's, it's crazy when you think of it. Just the joy and the power of just having a body, you know. Imagine this machine. Imagine the, how much it would take of human evolution to be able to create something like that. You know, if we were trying to create it, imagine like how complex it is. It's a really complex system and it's a gift. And so that gift, we've got to value it. I'm not just talking about the body, I'm talking about the whole system of what it means to be alive. You know, the system, systems that you create in your life, your thought patterns, your belief systems, your emotions, your, all that, everything that is happening here. You've got to nurture this. You've got to love yourself. You've got to reflect, echo this love affair between your spirit and yourself. You know, grab some of that, bring it into incarnation, bring it into your system and realize that this is a miracle. And you, as an entity, as a free thinker, as a free actor, you've got to do your part. You've got to take care of this thing. This, this personality, this being, this egoic vehicle is also your responsibility. There is tons of you know, biochemical process, things happening in this body that you don't control, that are just happening by themselves. Of course, this is the life force activating. But the places where you have influence, the food that you put in your mouth, you know, the conversation that you have with people, the choice that you make when you wake up in the morning, all that is your contribution. And unless you do your part, this thing decays. This thing enters into contracted spaces or ends up being completely toxified, conditioned, limited. So if you want to create force, you create freedom, you create space, it is your responsibility to help that flow. Love yourself. Love your being. Love this gift that you have received. It is your responsibility. You have so much input in how you feel at the end of the day because every single action that you take is your choice. You are the one deciding. You are the one making choice all the time. I decide to raise my arm. Wow. It's happening. See? I decide from within. And so in this process of choice making, you are going to decide how this vehicle is going to feel. And the more love you give to this vehicle, the more love you will feel. The happier you will feel. <clears throat> Realize that you are the dynamic creator, the dynamic architect of what happens in your life. Yes, there is a contribution, there are circumstances and things like that, but you know, you've got a massive amount of power, a massive amount of influence. Life loves you, okay? Life loves you. Life wants you to be happy. Life is the circulation of energy and life force in your system. Life is a love affair between this reality, this egoic vehicle, this personality, and your spirit streaming inside of you. All that in synergy, in synchronicity, in resonance, create your being. And within that, there is what we call free will. Use it wisely. Love yourself. I love you.